Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery Movie starts from Miles Braun, Edward Norton, an Elon Musk-like millionaire and co-founder of the technological corporation Alpha, conducts a crime scene investigation game at the Glass Onion, his mansion on a private island in Greece, during the COVID-19 epidemic in May 2020. He invites five friends, Alpha Chief Scientist Lionel Toussaint, Leslie Odom Jr., who was under heavy pressure from his supervisor to hurry development of potentially revolutionary technologies, Connecticut's Governor Claire DiBella, Catherine Hahn, whose Senate candidacy depends on Miles backing, model and contentious fashion designer Bertie J., Kate Hudson, social media influencer for men's rights Duke Cody, Dave Bautista, and co-founder of Alpha who was ejected, Cassandra Andy Brand, Janelle Monet. The invitation is hidden within a wooden puzzle box that the five friends must solve. To journey to Miles Island, they gathered at the dock with Bertie's assistant Peg, Jessica Henwick, who struggles to keep her out of trouble, and Duke's lover Whiskey, Madeline Klein. But it's two unexpected guests who are genuinely disturbing the group's holiday weekend on Miles' private island. Miles' co-founder of Alpha, Andy Brand, was invited, but Andy wasn't anticipated to respond given Miles' treachery in kicking her out of the company. Famous detective Benoit Blanc, Daniel Craig, joins them, nonetheless, he is the first outsider to attend their annual retreat. Miles claims he did not invite Blanc to the private island, so the two conclude that someone must have reset the puzzle box and sent it to Blanc as a prank. Miles lets Blanc continue, figuring another visitor invited him as a prank. Miles is a self-proclaimed disruptor, and his followers regard him as a truth-teller and genius. He has his faithful friends and colleagues disruptors in the palm of his hand, thanks to his massive money. Miles displays his priceless glass sculptures, as well as the Mona Lisa that is on loan from the Louvre before dinner. Additionally, Miles explains that the mansion is powered by Clear, an alternative fuel based on hydrogen that Alpha will soon introduce, despite Lionel and Claire's worries that it is unverifiable and potentially harmful. Blanc accepts Miles' invitation to take part in the murder mystery, which he quickly regrets because Blanc cracks the case even before the mystery has begun. Blanc admits to Miles that he intentionally destroyed the game because he fears for Miles' safety. Blanc appears to have been truthful when Duke, who had a taste of Miles' drink, died unexpectedly from poisoning, the terrified group suspecting Andy of trying to poison Miles, and when they realized Duke's pistol was stolen. Whiskey walks into the room weeping and accuses Andy of being the murderer. The lights go off as part of the prearranged murder mystery party. The movie goes back in time to the beginning around halfway through, when Andy is shot. We admit that the person who was taken advantage of the billionaire Miles Braun was not Cassandra Andy Brand. Helen is Andy's identical twin. In a lengthy flashback sequence, Helen visits Benoit Blanc's house while showing her impressive acting skills by adopting a thick southern accent. Helen says that Andy, her sister, allegedly committed suicide a week earlier. Helen, meanwhile, is convinced that one of her old friends who was a member of Miles' posse murdered Andy. When Helen dug through Andy's email, she came across a message she sent to everyone at the murder mystery party on the day she passed away, saying, I finally found it, and I'm going to use it to burn this whole empire down. A picture of Andy gripping a red envelope is attached. Helen did not locate the envelope when she was cleaning Andy's apartment, but she did discover the invitation in the puzzle box. She gives Blanc the diary, and together they come up with a scheme to sabotage the murder mystery party by having Helen go as her sister and Blanc claim to have received a surprise invitation. It quickly becomes clear that the item Andy recovered was the bar napkin on which she had originally scribbled down the concept for the business, Alpha, which Miles later claimed as his own. Miles and Andy were companions for many years before Miles fully committed to the concept of the novel unstable hydrogen fuel. On the basis that it was dangerous, Andy put her foot down. Andy quits the business and seeks to claim the portion that is legally hers, but Miles' attorneys cut her out in the process. When Andy went to court to reclaim her ownership interest in the firm, that crucial piece of evidence, the napkin, was absent. 
However, the napkin disappeared, and Miles' acquaintances all testified in court that he had come up with the business concept. Those gold digging, ass kissing liars. Additionally, Miles fabricates a napkin that he claims to be his. But Andy discovered that right before she passed away, she had sent the group a picture displaying the original napkin still in her possession. Helen believes that one of the gang members killed Andy and took the napkin to cover Miles' tracks. As word of Andy's passing had not yet spread, Blanc convinced Helen to attend Miles' party as Andy to aid him in his investigation. In order to protect Miles from Andy, Miles' friends have reasons to do so, including Lionel and Claire have staked their reputations on clear, Miles is financially saving Bertie from the consequences of using sweatshops, and Duke hopes Miles will give him a show on Alpha News. Helen, who is on the island pretending to be her sister, assists Blanc in uncovering these reasons. Helen finds that every one of Miles' pals went to Andy's house on the day she passed away. She looks around and finds that everyone present has the potential to kill Andy and a reason to do so. We learn that Helen was upstairs searching the guest rooms for the red envelope during the moment where Duke passed away, but she was unable to locate the napkin. While Helen is destroying her room, Whiskey, Duke's girlfriend, enters the room. Whiskey believes Helen slash Andy is the murderer because she makes Whiskey believe she is grieving about breaking up with Duke rather than over his death and that Duke deserved it. We have finally arrived at the point in the movie's flashback sequence where Helen fled and finds Blanc outdoors. Andy's diary in her jacket pocket serves as a bullet deflection after Helen is shot. Blanc gets the ideas to pretend that Helen has died by making up fake blood and tears out of Chekhov's spicy sauce. This will give Helen some extra time to look through the glass onion, the home's main chamber, for the envelope. She does discover it. While everything is going on, Blanc speaks up below and exposes Miles as the murderer. Blanc infers that Miles was responsible for both killings. When he found out Andy had the napkin, he killed her, but Duke watched him drive away from her house in his car. Duke heard about Andy's passing through a Google alert he received while at the party and concluded that Miles was to blame. Duke intended to exploit Miles as a scapegoat in efforts to progress his streaming career. As a result, Miles shot Helen with Duke's gun and poisoned him with pineapple juice, to which Duke was fatally allergic. Helen, meanwhile, can now show in court that he lied since she has the original napkin. How will she show that it is the original? Due to the fact that this napkin bears the stamp of the former bar, Glass Onion, which closed nine years ago. That stamp is missing from Miles' napkin. But hold out on that. Right there in front of everyone, Miles burns the napkin with his torch lighter. No one wants to confront Miles and claim that they witnessed him burn the napkin once more. Blanc lamentably informs Helen that in the absence of proof, he can do nothing. He does, though, give her some bravery and a reminder of why your sister walked away in the first place, he says. Helen smashes Miles' glass sculptures in a fit of catharsis, Miles' friends watch and finally join in. Helen then starts a fire exactly below the air vent in the room, which rises straight up to the glass onion. The hydrogen fuel, clear, which Blanc had also shared, is then thrown in. The toxic substance explodes due to the glass onion, demolishing the mansion. The Mona Lisa's protective glass is removed by Helen, and the painting bursts into flames. She tells Miles that his dream has come true since he will always be associated with the Mona Lisa as the one who destroyed the well-known artwork. In the end, neither Miles nor his companion pass away. The friends do, however, promise to support Helen in court and to cease lying in order to keep Miles safe. Helen and Blanc watch as the police boats approach from the beach. Please like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it. We'll be back soon with more excellent movie recaps. Subscribe to see more entertaining videos. Thank you very much.